stuff. The Central Ontario Standard Bread Association, proudly serving Ontario horse people with integrity and accountability. Collaborative, supportive, helping to ensure a vibrant harness racing industry, lifetime membership is free and there are many benefits. Become a new member today. COSA, representing the interests of horse people racing at Ontario racetracks. To find out more, visit COSAonline.com. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario, for some half-mile harness racing action tonight. We've got 11 races featured, all 11 on both HPI and the TVG2 network south of the border, playing into some very nice pools once again tonight. We're coming in hot, well over $600,000 wagered on our 11 race card last night. The pick four pools, over $20,000 wagered into those. We've got them again. We've bumped up those guaranteed pools on our pick four plays starting this week for the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday cards. Uh, going on to the end of the meet, uh, the end of May, we'll wrap up our live racing action here for another season. But uh, we've got lots of racing to do before that. Again, we bumped up guaranteed pools on our pick four plays starting this week for Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Now $7,500 with a low 15% take. All righty then, let's get a look at a pick three play. It's the TVG pick three play. Right up front in the opener, and uh, gone kind of deep here. Uh, Should have hit the all button last night. You had a 19 to 1 shot showing up for Tyler Borth in last night's opener. Uh, Rod Adams Jr. of NahuPicks.com was really liking that mare last night. They couldn't believe the price on her. Uh, it's not an all button for me in here, but it's six of them anyway. We're going to start things off with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. Bit of a wide open claiming event for the mares on the pace in tonight's opener. My key play for this TVG pick three, I'm all over six, mock it again in race number two. You're getting four to one in the morning line. Travis Henry going back on board, this Fred Borgo trainee. Uh, this one's coming in hot. Two straight victories, versatile enough to be racing well from on or off the pace. Uh, one of the favorites in here, number four, Tails Away, uh, has missed about a month of action, so I've uh, left that one off my pick three play. The morning line favorite in here has drawn the outside post, number seven, tomorrow's headline. So for me, it's all six. Uh, mock it again for me in race number two, and I believe this is part of my best bet selections on tonight's car because he is four to one in the morning line. Not sure you'll get that price, but uh, great enough form for me. Again, it's Borgo and Henry teaming up with six. Mock it again, my key play. Race number two. Third race, we're on the trot, preferred two handicap. For me, it's either the four Azucar or the six Absolute Sealster. Scott Young, we saw him win his 1,000th race last night, but he lost it on a placing. There was a pylon uh, uh, violation there through the opening turn with Casino Classic in the finale last night. So here goes Scott Young once again, looking for career win number 1,000 on this evening's card. We're gonna see him in race two on the rail. We'll see him with a live play here in the third with number six, Absolute Sealster, as that mare tries to come right back off a solid gate to wire victory as a heavy favorite last time out here in London. If you're in to go for this early pick three, the way it looks, $3.20. As mentioned, bumped up our guaranteed pools. Uh, Greg Gangle, our racing manager, loving the action here. The horse players are all over these pick four plays. This meet, as mentioned, well over $20,000 on our pick four plays last night. They begin in races four and eight this evening. $7,500 guaranteed pools now going forward and still that low 15% take. They will continue to be go-to wagers here at the raceway. We're going to go four deep in the opening leg. We're on the trot to start things off with a two, three, six, and seven. Fifth race, still on the trot for that. Uh, scratch the five, Oakley Uptown. The five just came out of race number five. We're deepest of all in that fifth race. Over to race number six, we switch to the pace. 
full field of nine for the early high five. Number five, Rockstar's Megastar. Didn't really get a chance to race last time out. Austin Sori on board for hot trainer Lindsay Kerr. She's been showing up in the winner's circle uh, on a regular basis here recently. And number eight, Keaton. You cannot ignore that horse. He's showing his form really good. Uh, two wins in his last three. And of course, remains in the same level. He can handle the added distance of a mile and a 16th. Seventh race to complete. For me, it's the two, Invitation to Dream, the four, Sports Nation, or the six, Shifty Leo. Any one of those three to complete. An early pick four. We're in for about $24 even on a 20-cent play. Late pick four, another trot. Trotting event, preferred three action. So not only preferred two, but preferred three trotters. Lots of top-class action for the trotters here tonight. Eighth race to start it up. Two, Cena Magician. Three, Sicario, or four, See you, men. I think we can get through with those three. We're five deep. Race number nine, it gets a little more wide open. Those are six. OK Man is coming in off a three-race win streak, showing 56 and 57 kind of speed. And he remains in for the same price of $11,000. Uh, seven, Validus Deo back with us. Uh, one of the last times he did have a win was a gate to wire here in London. That was for an $8,500 take. He's gone up to Woodbine Mohawk Park. He did get a win his first time back there, but uh, been off the ticket in recent starts. So he's come back to London. Validus Deo with an outside chance there in race number nine from post seven. Three deep in race number 10. And if we make it over to race number 11, we're going to need two. Shifty Norm with Austin Sori. Cats driving tonight. The seven easy flyer off the claim was an easy winner. Last time out in London, he wired him up in 57 and three. He was double entered for Woodbine Mohawk Park. He went up there and won in 53 and four, his lifetime best. So he's never been better. Number seven, easy flyer going out for Team Ray in our finale. If you're in to go, for the late pick four, this 20 cent ticket, the way it looks, $18 even. Long shot, if there's a long shot to be looking for tonight, I think you can get a pretty good price in race number 10 on the six SOS Justified. This one was a locked and blocked horse last time out. Charged home for third when he got freed up very late in the mile. Beware, number six, SOS Justified, six to one in the morning line. Coulter stays on there for Dolores. Best bet segment now. Let's bring up best bets. Terry Wilson uh, pulled a rabbit out of the hat last night uh, with, uh, hmm, yeah, a six to one shot that kind of messed up uh, pick four for a lot of people. How about that early pick four last night? Uh, $2,300 payout on a 20 cent ticket. The sequence, I believe, was like eight to five, six to one, nine to two, and a four to one. It was like that, and it paid over $2,000. So for Terry Wilson, his best bet on tonight's card, the one, uh, race number one, the four, Queen of Hearts. Again, chasing another price here at eight to one. Uh, Terry says this one is as good as any in here. For me, my best bet, it's gotta be that six and mo mock it again, race number two going for three in a row and facing many of the same. For Lou and Rod, they're going to team up in race number five. Fifth race, Trotters, and both Lou and Rod chasing after Tina's war. Let's bring up the best bets board for Lou and Rod in race number five. Again, they're both going to chase after Tina's war here. Lou notes that uh, Tina's war comes out of the hot barn, plus that rail advantage will help. Believes it's go time tonight. Rod says... Tina's War should get the trip. This mare loves to win. She does, in fact, nine-time winner in 2019. That's going to just about do it for the pregame show. Top of the Fair this Friday. Still some seating available there. Book a reservation now. Top of the Fair at westernfairdistrict.com. Um, dial us up using the extension 252. Why not? All 11 on both TVG2. We'll be speaking with our friends at TVG tonight. We'll look forward to that. HPI also picking up all 11 big pools all night long again. Let's close it out with some Wednesday rewind action. Here's a fave selected by our own Greg Gangle. He loves his trotters. Enjoy this awesome race with an electric crowd on hand. A super great call by Ken Middleton down around the Mohawk. Best of luck when playing tonight.
Seven of racing's greatest older trotters in behind the gate. It's the Breeders' Crown Final Open Trot. Here they come. They are off and trotting, and Arch Madness strikes first down the center from the inside. Pedal to the metal is to find the world, and it's to find the world with rail control. Arch Madness is camped at his flank from in second. Taken back towards the inside from in third, there is Sandpale, and revving up early on the outside comes Rapide Labelle, and he's going to be three high because Waples has got him hung out there three high as they drive into that first turn. Taken back to be along from in fifth is Commander Crow. Sixth away, Hot Shot, Blue Chip, Lucky Jim trails, and a quick quarter of 26 and two fifth seconds. With that early lead, Define the World takes this field to the back stretch for McDonnell. Challenging up on the outside now, here comes Sandpale. Back there from in third is Arch Madness on his cover. Fourth is Rapide Labelle. Then Commander Crow from in fifth to the outside. Hotshot Blue Chip from in sixth. And Lucky Jim commences a rally from the backfield in seventh. Sandpale positioned on the point now as Waples takes charge through the half in 54 and four fifth seconds. Back to second now, Define the World. Rapide Labelle the outside from in third. Commander Crow's cover up on that one from in fourth then inside from in fifth is a locked up arch madness lucky jim is a covered up sixth on the outside now for jameson and hot shot blue chip back in seventh as the trotters begin the bend into the far turn sand pale waples leaders by a length rapide labelle second on the outside in at the rail third to find the world commander crow setting up a second over rally from in fourth jameson already tipping his hand three wide here comes lucky jim from the backfield he self-destructed coming off cover lucky jim's off stride sand pale to the Roar the crowd in Woodbine. Knights out three quarters in 123 and one. Rapid LaBelle second on the outside, still closing. Here comes Commander Crow up off cover now. Three wide for the drive. Sam Pale when called on to do so, digs in for Waples. Sam Pale on the inside on his home turf. Sam Pale, you to man. Sam Pale wins the Breeders' Crown Open Trot in 151 and four. Rapid LaBelle second, and Commander Crow was third.